Welcome to the Culture Coach Podcast with me, Nikki Lerner. I'm here to help you build the skill set of multicultural leadership and find your confidence again and your voice again in an ever changing multicultural world and workplace. Ready to up level your skill set? Get certified in multicultural work at the Culture Coaching Lab. Add to your resume and lead with confidence as you get your certification in multicultural leadership and cultural advising. Go there now, culturecoachinglab.com. Come on, let's get into it today. Believe it or not, there are no statute of limitations when it comes to making an apology, particularly when you have made a mistake in the area of cultural diversity or multicultural leadership. Our intuitive leadership instinct when something has happened in the realm of cultural diversity is to just sort of rush through and hurry up and get through it. What I wanna encourage you to do as a multicultural leader is not to rush through it too fast. Take the time to make an apology. Usually it's an apology that is missing from the process. We can go into information, we can go into facts, we can go straight to accountability, but oftentimes what's missing is, I'm sorry, or I'm sorry that you had to experience that, or I'm sorry that that had a negative impact on you. I don't think we say I am sorry enough when it's when it's meaningful, when it when it really matters to someone. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of times it really matters to people when it comes to mistakes that we make cross culturally. If there's something that uh, came up and maybe you worked someplace and you said something to a colleague that had a negative impact on them, just remember you can still say I'm sorry. If something has come up where you know you you did something or you made a mistake yesterday you can still say you're sorry why don't we say i'm sorry sometimes connecting that deeply into our hearts connecting that deeply into our emotional selves as people particularly when it comes to work can be really challenging for us right because we like to kind of have our mind focus we like to focus on the data we want to focus on all the metrics and all the things that that stay out here with us but when we have a mistake the act of apologizing and then if you're willing asking for someone's forgiveness is so powerful it really teaches us that we can try to go and make it right and second, that to go and try to ask for uh, someone's forgiveness can be really powerful in our own journey. So just remember, there's no statute of limitations when it comes to making an apology. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule to engage with us today. Remember, you don't have to do this alone. We got you. Take 60 seconds. Go to culturecoachinglab.com. You can go grab your first free mini course and you can sign up today for our email newsletter. Looking forward to hanging out with you more. We'll see you next week.